I'm Rebecca Alexander with OWTV. We're standing outside the Amelie A. Wallace Gallery at SUNY Old Westbury. We're about to view an exhibition on biotech art. Let's check it out. There are a lot of uh, um, bioethical issues involving dealing with cloning and stem cell research. And because also, as I explained earlier, once the tissues leave our body, patients and we uh, that once used to own those items don't have right to them, so that created a lot of uh, legal issues in the past, and it's uh, still ongoing issues. This exhibit, particularly the, the DNA ones, bring out the ethical problems associated with the advancement of biotechnology and giving us genetic um, information. These life science artists explore living organisms ranging from human DNA samples to marine animal subjects altering them through subversive use of biotechnological processes. And through her openings in the belly, fat came out of the uh, baby. So she, actually, she collected them, and so now we can see the entire body of the uh, child. There had there been kind of paucity of loss dealing with human remains that are part of the um, collections at medical museums and storage rooms? We interviewed students to see what they learned about biotech art. The staining was so, so, so good. Like, you're looking at something that's almost kind of sad and haunting, but with the staining and the way the art is made, it just makes it look kind of beautiful in a way. Basically, we leave a lot of DNA behind us. When we, like, chew gum or uh, clip our nails, we leave a lot of DNA behind. For more information on biotech art, check out the Amelie A. Wallace Gallery. I'm Rebecca Alexander with OWTV.